Hello students, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll solve the fourth and final writing passage of the April 2017 USACT, Sharing for Success. The 21st century has presented both unique challenges and innovative solutions to work-related issues. Both Julie Levin and Julie Rocco desired a healthier work-life balance, but they were hesitant to give up their managerial roles overseeing the production of new vehicles. In order to retain these top engineers, the company proposed a creative solution, job sharing. Okay, so which choice provides the best introduction to the paragraph? So if you read the first line, it says the 21st century has presented challenges and solutions. And then I'm talking about Julie Revine and Julie Rocco. And I have not introduced them, right? So I have no idea who these two are. I'm only saying that they wanted a healthier work-life balance, but they were hesitant to give up their managerial roles. So the way this is written is not good because it doesn't introduce them. Companies are always searching for new and innovative ways to recruit the best employees. Um, yeah, but again, who are these two ladies? Uh, so this is not good. In 2007, two highly successful full-time engineers at a U.S. car company faced the same dilemma. So this is a good introduction, right? Because when I say two highly successful engineers face the same dilemma, and then I talk about Julie Levine and Julie Rocco, then they are the two engineers, right? So this should be my answer. According to one national survey, the average full-time U.S. employee works about 1,700 hours per year. So again, this doesn't flow into the next statement. So D is not correct. In order to retain these top engineers, the company proposed a creative solution, job sharing. So here I'm saying the company proposed a creative solution and what that solution was, was job sharing. So a colon makes sense here because a colon sets up expectation for what has to come next. So D should be the answer. A uh, semicolon should have an independent sentence on either side. So that's not correct because job sharing is not a sentence. Similarly, full stop is not correct. And I definitely need a punctuation after solution, right? Because I'm saying that this was the solution that was proposed. So colon is the best answer. As the demand for flexible working options in today's marketplace has grown, job sharing, an arrangement in which one full-time job is split between two employees has become more common. Now here, my main sentence is job sharing has become more common. And this is the definition an arrangement in which one full-time job is split between two people. So when I have a definition like this, which is non-essential, then I need to put it between a pair of commas or a pair of dashes, right? Now I already have a closing dash here, so I should start with a dash as well. So sharing and dash would be my answer, right? Um, comma would work only when there was a closing comma, so option A is not correct. Semicolon is not correct because the two parts around the punctuation are not independent. And a colon is not correct because the colon can only come at the end of a complete sentence. Like here, in order to retain these top engineers, the company proposed a creative solution. That's a complete sentence. So therefore I can put a colon after solution. But here that's not the case, so D is wrong. For uh, employees, it becomes an appealing alternative to other forms of part-time work, which might not offer comparable health benefits, salary or stability. For Levine and Rocco, who were compensated at 80% of their full-time salaries and benefits, job sharing was a way of continuing to climb the career ladder. They didn't have to work the long hours usually demanded of an employee in a high-level position. Which choice best combines the sentences at the underlying portion? Job sharing was a way of continuing to climb the corporate ladder. And they weren't having to work. Okay, so this is not correct. Weren't having is not the correct construction. So A is definitely out. Okay, however is wrong because this is not contrast, right? I'm saying that they continued to climb the corporate ladder and at the same time, they didn't have to work long hours. So this distorts the meaning. 
okay they continue to climb the corporate ladder without having to work the long cards right this is fine it is concise and it conveys the meaning and they continue to climb the corporate ladder while still not having to work so this is uh, needlessly long right and uh, still not is not needed because i'm already saying while right so the best answer is c effective communication is crucial to the success of a job sharing arrangement in determining how working time and responsibilities would be divided steps were taken by levin and roko to ensure that the arrangement provided fluidity and consistency for the employees whom they jointly managed now this part in determining how working time and responsibility would be divided this is a modifier right and when you have a modifier the part after the modifier should refer to the subject that the modifier refers to right so who was determining the working time and responsibilities levin and roko so the part after the comma should start with levin and roko right so that should be my answer levin and roko took steps to ensure that the arrangement provided fluidity okay steps were taken is not correct because the determination of working time doesn't refer to steps or there were steps and levin and roko's steps is also wrong because here the subject is steps not levin and roko so c is correct it's our job to be seamless they noted nevertheless they each planned to work 3 days a week with a day of overlap on wednesdays they also planned to talk on the phone each evening to discuss the day's work so here i have to decide the correct connector and when i say it's our job to be seamless which is to say that you know both of our works should kind of flow into one another then this is the way they achieve that seamlessness right they plan to work 3 days a week with a day of overlap and they talked on the phone daily so nevertheless doesn't make sense because nevertheless indicates contrast right and that is not what we are indicating here so it's not correct to this end is correct right to this end means to achieve this goal and what is the goal they wanted to achieve they wanted their jobs to be seamless so to this end they each plan to work 3 days a week so this is good however is also a contrasting connector so that doesn't fit here and similarly is used when you are talking about two similar situations right but that's not what you are doing here you are saying that to achieve what is written in the previous sentence they did this right so the better answer is option b the job shared by levin and roko was the highest ranking shared job in the company when you have to analyze your day and share it with another brain you show up the next day ready to run levin said studies have confirmed that job sharing can improve work quality by encouraging teamwork in a 2003 survey of employees at the uk national health service for example and so on so which choice best sets up the information that follows in the next part of the sentence so we know that they talk to each other to discuss the day's work and here it says when you have to analyze your day and share it with another person you show up the next day ready to run which is to say that you show up fully prepared right so the fact that the job was the highest ranking shared job doesn't really explain why you need to be prepared or why you feel the need to be completely immersed right so it's not a uh levin and roko initially had doubts that the arrangement would be successful so this is not about the doubts they had so it's not b the job shared by levin and roko requires about 80 hours of work total per week again we are not talking about the number of hours in this quotation so it's not c both levin and roko found this collaboration enhanced their job performance right and that is exactly what we are saying here that because you have to kind of share your ideas with another person you come prepared and studies have shown that job sharing improves work quality so the improvement in job performance is what is being talked about job sharing may present some challenges though if job sharers have discordant capabilities or are unable to communicate effectively the arrangement may not be successful 
job sharing initiatives may also involve extra cost for companies. Which choice best sets up the main discussion of the paragraph? So you can see that so far I've spoken about the advantages of job sharing, but here I'm looking at some of the negatives, right? One second. Yeah. So I'm saying that if job sharers don't have capabilities that match, then communication can be an issue and uh, it can also involve extra cost. So job sharing can present some challenges is a good introduction to this because after speaking of the pros, I'm moving to the cons. So I like A. Moreover, some workers have responsibilities that are difficult to share. Now, the thing is that, first of all, I don't like moreover because I'm kind of moving from the positive to the negative. So I should use something which indicates contrast, something like though, right? And the other thing is that it's not just about responsibilities that are difficult to share, right? I'm talking about the general disadvantages of job sharing. So B is not a good answer. Still, only some positions are suitable for job sharing. So again, I don't know if some positions is a good answer because that's not what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about the general challenges, right? Which is why A is better. So C is not good. Flexible work arrangements can reduce stress in employees. So this is definitely not the answer because this is talking about a possible advantage of sharing while this paragraph is talking about disadvantages. So A. Okay, if job sharers have discordant capabilities or are unable to communicate effectively. So basically I'm saying that the arrangement may not work if the capabilities of the job sharers don't uh, match, right? So I think mismatched is the best answer for this. Discordant will not fit this context because it comes from the word discord, which is to indicate conflict, right? And capabilities can't really be in conflict. They can be mismatched, right? So I don't think A is correct. Again, I don't think contrary can be used for capabilities, right? So that's not the right answer. And irreconcilable is also an extreme word for something like capabilities because you don't really need to reconcile capabilities, right? Capabilities either go together or they don't. So mismatched is the best answer. Job sharing initiatives may also involve some extra cost for companies since the salaries and cost of benefits for two job sharing employees are usually higher than being for a single employee. Okay, so I'm talking about salaries and cost of benefits, right? So I'm talking about plural salaries and cost. So salaries and cost of benefits for two employees are higher than those for a single employee, right? Because those is the plural pronoun. So it will be required when we talk about uh, salaries and cost of benefits. Uh, being for is incorrect. It is not a pronoun and that is a singular pronoun. So that's wrong. And you definitely need to keep this because you're comparing benefits with benefits, right? So if I don't say those four, then it would seem that I'm comparing benefits with employee, which is an illogical comparison. So you need to say those four. However, proponents contend that the investment is worthwhile because they enable companies to retain the most talented employees. The investment is worthwhile, right? So investment is singular. So I need to choose something that can refer to investment. So because it enables, the investment enables, right? So it enables companies to retain the most talented employees. They or those are plural. So that doesn't make sense. And any of them doesn't convey the right meaning, right? I just need to say investment in job sharing enables companies. So D is the best answer. Okay, let's grade this. 34, C, D, B, C, 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 D, B, C, C, B, D, A, D, C, D. 
B D A D C D. Okay, great. So we got all correct. Hope this exercise helped. With this, we finished the writing section of the April 2017 test. I will link to the solutions to all passages in the description box. I've already uploaded solutions to the math section, so I would also link to those. Be sure to check those out and come back later for more videos. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.